You see, I just want you to understand that the red pill is making you a weirdo. And that's by design. Now, chat, get this. On this channel, we focus on three things. One, music is my main passion, of course. Two, we want some escapism, you know, some entertainment. So I post the gameplay, the funny videos. And then three, self-help philosophy. Cause maybe I can pull you up with me. You know, we can all go up and learn something from each other. So the main reason I'm making this video today is one of the most dangerous communities young men can fall into, Red Pill. I wanna maybe help someone not go down that path. Or if you are down that path, by the end of this video, maybe you see it's not that good. Now, I know what you're saying. The red pills help me see the world for what it is, for you know how women really are. <laughs> you see, what the red pill did was they looked at the community of men, you know, that were down bad, or young men, adolescents, which is even worse. And they were confused. And they said, you know, listen to me, I have the answers. But I'm gonna explain it with this little metaphor. It's like you're lost at sea. And the first boat that comes by, they offer you a helping hand. But before you realize it, you're out deeper into the ocean. And now the only way to get back is if you buy the course. And then you buy it, and now you're even deeper into the ocean. You see how this works? Do you see what I'm getting at though? It's a business. They're making money. Why do you think they need hundreds of videos to tell you what to do? I could tell you in one video everything you need to know. And they make a community off of confused people. And they're offering their guidance. Leading them astray in the process. Because every action has a, you know, equal and opposite reaction. So maybe they didn't know this at first, but going down this path creates an us versus them mentality. And there's no coming back from that once you go too far. You see, I just want you to understand that the red pill is making you a weirdo. And that's by design. They create a negative feedback loop. Almost like a uh, fear mongering on the news. Why do you think nothing on the news has ever been positive? Because fear is one of your strongest emotions. Understand? Actually, they're using fear and hope. They're telling you the world is doomed, and then they have the solution. That the two things exist. In fact, it's really easy to talk to women. You just have to be confident in yourself. And the reason you're not confident in yourself is probably just because you don't know that much. You're not that experienced. You need to go outside, experience life. You need to read more, get smarter, so you have more things to talk about. Maybe work out so you're more confident in your body. It's really that simple. <laughs> Just the, when you talk to people, you don't even need to be women. You develop conversational skills. Why do they need to make hundreds of videos to explain this? I don't know. But the thing is that they won't tell you. Women are just like men. <laughs> and before you start typing in the comments, you don't have any experience, do you? Now, women are just like men. And before you start rage typing in the comments, yes, we have our differences, social conditioning, natural differences, obviously, but we are not that different. The fact that these red pillars want you to think women are just these evil creatures that can't be saved, is the, is the that's the reason why you don't get any. And since you don't get any, you keep coming back to them for more answers, which creates this negative feedback loop. And you get further and further and further down that hole or that, you know, the sea, which I was talking about. You, you see it, your obsession with them is the reason. They don't like you. You just treat them like normal people. Add a little flirtiness, boom, you're done. The best advice you can possibly get is to be yourself. Yeah, I know it's corny. <laughs> Listen, one day you'll find out 
the best advice is the simplest advice because you can apply it to everything in your life. But what do they mean by being yourself? What if I'm boring? What if I, you know, I'm just weird. I'm not interesting. Work on it. It's not really being yourself. It's expanding yourself. To me, true strength is being yourself and standing behind everything you say and do with, you know, 100% authenticity. So if you're boring, read a book, go outside, get some experiences. If you don't look good, I don't know, eat healthy, maybe work out. It's not that hard to look good. Wear clothes that fit you. <laughs> this isn't a video about that, though. This, this is more just why the red pill is not good for you. I just want to get the point across that the red pill community is a business. The product is proclaimed self-help, but in really at reality, it's fear mongering. And it creates this negative feedback loop where you will never get out of it. You will never. So how long have you been watching Red Pill shit? You're probably in the same boat as when you first started. Let that sink in. Have you actually gotten any better? No, I've talked to people in this in real life. And actually, the further the red pill they go down, the worse they get. So, because at the root of it, the red pill creates an us versus them mentality, men versus women mentality. And once you create that, you've lost the plot. You see us versus them in the news all the time. Republican versus Democrat. You know, whatever it is, us versus them mentality creates more engagement, which means more money. So, they're using you. You are being used in this machine. Now, I'm leaving this part at the end of the video, so maybe I can catch them, but I already know the rebuttal's gonna be, we've helped hundreds of men get more money, fuck more bitches. And I just have to say, like, is, is that all we have to offer? Is that all we value ourselves by? We don't have morals. We don't have honor, we don't have nothing. We just have money and fucking body count. Is that all you are as a man? If that is all you are, it's pretty sad to me. But you do you.